Бля, у него ракеты сработали вон все. Сейчас. Highways for Russians on motorcycles to hell in Ukraine. The soldiers of the 79th Separate Air Assault Torrid Brigade of Ukraine instantly stopped a group of Russian invaders who decided to break through their positions. Ukrainian media outlet Obzorevatel reports this. It is noted that the Russian invaders on motorcycles rushed into this attack and ended up in hell. The video was published on social networks by the brigade's press service. They emphasized that the events took place near the village of Novomikhailovka in the Donetsk region. Drone pilots of the 79th Airborne Brigade are filming a new version of the video for the legendary Highway to Hell, the military noted. It was this track by the rock band ACDC that the defenders accompanied the footage of the defeat of the Russian invaders. According to the director's plan, several Russian invaders boldly race on motorcycles in the direction of our positions, but at the finish line, instead of medals, they receive targeted drops directly on their heads, the military added. In the video, this is exactly what happens. The occupiers burst into the streets on motorcycles, abandoned their vehicles, and tried to conduct a shooting battle. After the first drop, of a Bavovna from a Ukrainian drone, several enemy soldiers hid in the bushes, but death overtook them there too. The film in the genre of tragic comedy is based on real events. Novo Mikhailovka, Donetsk region. Our days added the public relations service of the Turid Brigade. As the publication reported, defenders from the Lyot Brigade of Ukraine showed a film with the codename Gentleman of Fortune. Its main heroes were the occupiers who in Volchansk ran away from precision strikes from FPV drones before they were finally neutralized. Russian troops appear to be fitting makeshift cope cages to motorbikes in an effort to defend against Ukrainian drone attacks. The ad hoc nature of the modifications has drawn mockery and comparisons with the Mad Max films Although anti-drone cages have been used extensively by both sides in the war in Ukraine as well as by the Israeli military in Gaza, the modified motorbikes along with other similarly altered light vehicles seen on the battlefield represent a shift in Russian tactics and suggest Moscow's forces are struggling to find appropriate vehicles. Russia lost 1.5 million tons of oil and petroleum products worth about $540 million as a result of Ukrainian attack on Novoshaktinsk oil products plant in Rostov region last week, general staff of Ukrainian armed forces reported on Monday. The attack was launched on the night leading to June 6 with the use of Ukrainian weapons, the general staff reported. As a result of the strike by Ukrainian kamikaze drones, an explosion and fire occurred at the Novoshaktinsk plant, which is located some 10 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. Fearing the threat of a repeated attack, firefighters did not approach the area for some time. The fire covered an area of 100 square meters, regional governor Vasily Golubev said, adding that, according to preliminary data, there were no dead or injured. On the same day, fire started at Steri Oskol oil depot, less than 100 kilometers from the Ukrainian border, as a result of a drone attack. The strike was the third on the Novoshaktinsk oil refinery. The two previous attacks took place in March and April and caused temporary suspension of the plant's activity, according to Russian media. There was no immediate response from Kiev over the attacks. Ukraine has stepped up attacks on Russian energy facilities in recent months in response to Russian attacks on civilian and energy infrastructure in its own territory. 
Ukraine has come under continuous drone and missile strikes on its civilian and energy infrastructure since the start of Russia's full-fledged invasion of the country in February 2022. Russian attacks have caused numerous casualties.